All right, so welcome back everyone to yet another video. This is gonna be the final part of the bow and arrow tutorial series or the bow and arrow part of the combat system. So um, the last video ended quite abruptly, so let's just go over it one more time. Uh, basically you have this uh, we have this shoot to event that we made in the last video and I got super stressed in the end so not sure if you could follow it all so I'm just gonna show it to you one more time here just to make sure that you are uh, on track so we have this event that triggers when we fire right now we are firing this event when we press the button we don't really want to do that uh, because what we want to do on the button press is that we want to uh, we want to play an animation and we want the animation to actually drive the fire event because now nothing is happening. Uh, so in this final part we are gonna uh, add the animation and we are also gonna apply some damage to the enemy and that should pretty much be it. Uh, feel free to leave in the comments um, uh, a comment if there's anything you're missing or if it's not, something's not working or whatever with the system because I'm not entirely sure it's extremely good. It's not extremely good, it's working, but it could probably be better. This is how I do it anyway. Uh, so we have these... Uh, um, 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 fire animations. Let's see where I have them. Game player. This is a shitty animation, uh, but we have this shooting animation. It's a shitty one, but let's use it. I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna cut it from here because we are already aiming, so we don't really wanna have all this aiming stuff in it. So let's go to this part and move from frame 0 to 72. And we just have the specific fire part. And let's also remove the last part. So that's our fire animation. And let's make sure it's root motion. And you probably won't need to do this part if you're using your own bow and arrow animations or if you bought some animations uh, which i absolutely recommend that you do but otherwise we need to swap it or, or switch it 90 degrees because the animation for some reason is the root bone is rotated so there we go and let's create an animation montage There we go. And you can see here, about here we have the point at where we release the arrow. So that's where we want to trigger the fire event. We don't want to trigger the event on the mouse click. The mouse click should trigger this animation. And we should add a notify, call new notify. Event fire. So when we go into then we can go into our animation blueprint and we can get the fire event. We can get the player. And event shoot. And this event shoot is this event that we made in the last video. And let me know if this stuff is confusing, and I'll probably do like a print of it or something. I know it's spaghetti with the lines everywhere, but it's it's actually pretty simple. Uh, just get the camera, get the world location, forward vector times 10,000, this is 
only a number that I chose, but that's basically the length of the line trace. Add them together. Uh, and the word location is going to be the start, and the added uh, ve uh, vector value is going to be the end. And we also made a custom trace channel called projectile in the last video. Uh, and we are gonna. Oh, okay. This. Apparently, I didn't even finish it. So, if we hit something, we are gonna fire to the hit point. So, basically, that's gonna be the. Uh, uh, look at rotation between the muscle socket location from the range mesh and the impact point. So basically we're making a transform to spawn the arrow and the arrow will fly by itself. So basically we're finding the transform with the rotational location that will fire the arrow in the same way as the line trace. And if we're not hitting anything, we still want to fire an arrow. So then we use the find look at rotation between the muscle and basically the added sum of the end of the line trace. So it's just gonna the arrow is just gonna follow straight the line trace like ten thousand hours away. And then we just do this server spawn actor. Which is that, and we spawn the master projectile. That's pretty much it. Uh, in this master projectile, we want to add a collision. Tiniest collision ever. And we want to add a collision. And I'm just going to call it impact call. And on begin overlap, we are going to cast to master AI. We have, uh, I'm not sure I remember the function name, but if we collide with an AI, we are gonna do the AI take damage. And this projectile, make sure that you set it to replicate as well. Forgot to do that in the last video. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, because we're spawning it on the server, so that should be fine. Uh, so we are gonna AI take damage. And that's gonna be it. And right now we are, I'm just gonna show you one thing. Um, we are hard coding the damage point at this point. What you wanna do is you wanna drag this here so we can actually pass through the damage number as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that. No, actually, because I will forget. I will forget how to do. Or actually, I'm gonna show you. So, damage amount. So this way, we can do different amounts of damages depending on the weapon that we currently have equipped. Uh, so, for instance, you could do a damage amount on this specific projectile. I'm just gonna hard code it for now. So let's do twenty damage. Uh, and that's gonna be that part. Let's also actually fire. So we have the input graph. So basically, we don't want to do event shoot here because we are shooting from the uh, animation. So we just want to. We just want to play the montage, and it's going to be the animation uh, 
and the bow shooting. And as I said, everything is free, animations are free, so it's gonna look like shit. Actually, it's way better than expected. <laughs> but there you go. So, bam! Not too bad. Could probably increase the speed on that a little bit. Uh, 1.5. So we actually shoot a little bit faster. Um, so this is fairly advanced. And as I said, like I, some stuff here are made purely because I'm, I'm doing workarounds for these poor animations. Uh, but everything is free. As I said, it's going to look a lot better if you use your own paid animations or if you make your animations yourself. I'm not an animator, so unfortunately, I can't give you a ton of free animations. Uh, but as you see, it's looking quite all right. And the important thing here as well is that in the project settings, uh, where do we have collision? As I said, we made this uh, projectile trace, which is blocking. And the line trace is going on this projectile trace. So for the line trace to actually hit, uh, you need your master AI, you need this collision uh, to block, which it's set to do by default. But in this troll enemy, you can see that the collision sphere is actually not really fitting, so we need to probably increase its height a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, so we need to move him down. So that's better. And yeah, you can see that we are applying damage when we fire. Um, and yeah, we can increase the speed of this one now. Let's do 2000. So we did 500 just because of debugging purposes. You can see that's a lot better. Um, so I'm not doing arrow drop or anything. And you can do this with a rifle or whatever. And, and I saw there was someone commenting about doing a rifle or a gun. And I could do that. I'm probably gonna do that in a future video with I'm probably gonna do another series that is like more a third person shooter thing. But if you wanna do a gun, basically you just do exactly the same, but it's a lot easier. Uh because you don't even need to fire the projectile in that case. You can just if the line trace hits, you can just apply damage instantly. So basically you don't even need to spawn a projectile. In that case it's like you can see the line trace hitting there, so that's a bullet. And so from, from the shoot event, um, from here, you just cast to mass oh, cast to master AI. Then you would just from you would cast from the hit actor instead. And apply damage if it hits. So that's how you would just do a line trace firing. And that's basically it. Let me know in the comments as usual and thanks for this video.